It is common for Christians to say that it takes more faith to believe in evolution than it does to believe in creation. Donnie, what's going on? You're supposed to be inside with the others. What's happening? You okay? And while it's true that a spontaneous Big Bang from nothing and life evolving to higher complexity by chance breaks the very laws that science is based on. What's the matter? Uh, you're having a baby. Okay, come on, inside. Come on. Yeah, you can't have a baby outside. You gotta come in. Come on. I'll be right back, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna make you a nice bed. The Bible says that faith is a conviction that comes from God. So to say that believing in evolution requires faith at all doesn't acknowledge what faith actually is. It's going to be your baby station, okay? You go over there. And that's what we need to realize when it comes to this question. Because while both sides are trying to prove that God does or doesn't exist. Look what you did. Yeah, little one. These yeah. arguments are all in our brain. And the evidence that God points to in the Bible will only convince our soul. You okay? An atheist won't believe that we have a soul. So God's children must accept that the strongest evidence we have for creation will never convince an atheist. It's yours. It will only sound like foolishness to them, which means that the strongest argument we have for God's existence will just make us look to an atheist like a fool. And my point with this chapter is that Christians need to be okay with that. Because not only can the existence of God not be proven, but the conviction of the Holy Spirit inside of us is equally invisible and unprovable to them. And if an atheist is not willing to consider the possibility of a creator, then they will never be able to feel this conviction for themselves. Because true faith is from God, what, are you going to sit around all day? And he only gives it to those who will be willing to worship and mm -hmm. obey him. So when the Bible says that his invisible attributes can be clearly seen through what he has made, <laughs> it isn't talking about scientific evidence that Christians can use to destroy the arguments of the atheist. It is talking about the conviction of the Holy Spirit that considers the miracle of life when we see it and speaks to our heart to say with a sense or a feeling that no words could describe that there is simply no way that this miracle of life could have happened by random chance. Yeah, little one. Wow, you're good at that. What do you think, Donnie? Did you learn all that by random chance?